Hey guys, how's it going? It's Clarissa with that Dumb Movie Show and a film that I have been so excited about and that is Atomic Blonde and my god did this film deliver. I am prouder of Charlize Theron in this moment than I will be of any of my future children. She is the queen, she is the greatest of all time and I would give her both of my kidneys, even though I need one of those kidneys to live. So Atomic Blonde is coming straight from one of John Wick's co-directors, David Leach, and it's actually an adaptation of a graphic novel called The Coldest City, which sees Charlize play Lorraine Broughton, a top-level MI6 agent who is sent to Berlin to recover a list which contains all the espionage agents and their secret identities. So she goes to Berlin and she meets up with her contact there, Percival, who's played by James McAvoy, who is an actor who has just decided to only play crazy people from now on, and honestly, I'm not gonna fight it. What ways this isn't just a repeat of John Wick, it's definitely more of that Cold War spy thriller sort of storyline where everyone's double-crossing each other and no one can be trusted, and yeah, it's not the most original narrative, but it's not exactly that wildly dumb or outlandish either. It's just a very standard storyline that you can build the rest of the film on. And by rest of the film, I just mean some supreme ass kicking. This is just, it is a spectacle. It is a showcase for the very best in fight choreography, in fight direction. And I know a lot of people have been talking about one scene in particular, which is very much Atomic Blonde's duel in the crown. And it is this long take, well, it looks like it's a long take, apparently there are some hidden little cuts, but it looks like a continuous take fight scene that takes place in a stairwell, and it is absolutely jaw-dropping. It is incredible, and you just, you can feel the punches, you can just feel the weight of the blows, and that to me is always what makes a really good fight scene. But having said that, I think this entire film is just filled with incredible fight scenes, and that that's maybe why it's okay to just sideline the plot a little bit, keep it minimal, because you just want to take Charlize to different locations so that she can kick butts. And what I particularly loved about this character is that she will use anything as a weapon. A hose, heels, keys, DJ deck. And the supporting cast is great. I think James McAvoy was crazy fun and I love Sofia Boutella, I just always think that she's great, but really this is Charlize's movie. This is just, whew, she is incredible and I think this film is also just adding to that argument that she is either the best or at least one of the best action stars today. She just, every time she walks on screen, she just owns it, she owns it and I think especially this film really gets to show her in, in like her prime of being kind of a similar character to Mad Max Fury Road, that very cold cut, ruthless badass. And you know, like John Wick, this movie is very stylized, but it does it in that very Berlin 80s synth pop kind of way, which I think is a really good fit for Charlie's as well, because it's kind of brutal, but glamorous at the same time. And Oh, the clothes are so good, the boots, there are so many good boots in this movie, I could die. And the soundtrack is also fantastic with all the synth pop, like, and there's the Pesh Mode, and there's New Order. Like, I did really enjoy Baby Driver, but I think it wasn't quite as much of a spiritual experience as a lot of other people seem to have had with it, but I think Atomic Blonde might be my baby driver in that respect because the soundtrack and the action just fit so perfectly together. Like the car chase is soundtrack to I ran. Oh! So yeah, I just loved Atomic Blonde so much and I like that these John Wick guys are bringing that kind of brutal, very stylish action thriller more into the mainstream. It's very much more my jam than the usual Taken style thrillers and like I'm so excited about Proud Mary with Taraji P. Henson. It looks a little more like that style and just it looks fabulous. But if you've had a chance to see Atomic Blonde I would love to know what you guys thought. You can let me know down in the comments below or you can hit me up on Twitter. Details down in that description box. Also don't forget to like and subscribe so we can hang out and talk about movies. I'll see you guys soon. Bye!